Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna. For those of you who are new here, welcome. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to do the next installment of the Comfy Cozy Collab series. And if that is of interest to you, please stay tuned. All right, guys, so this collab is hosted by Poet of Poet Spice. I'll go ahead and link her channel below. There's also a bunch of other ladies participating. All of their channels will be linked below as well. And every Tuesday in the month of October, we will be loading a video regarding something along the lines of comfy and cozy. Now for this week, I'll be talking about my travel journal. Now, just to give you a perspective of size, this is an Exceed notebook from Walmart. Uh, Exceed is the brand. Uh, this is an A5 journal. This is my preferred size of journal, but for the purposes of this and another one that I won't be showing today, um, this size actually works better, but I did want to show you the scale. I don't know what size this is. I'm thinking it might be a B5 but it doesn't say so i'm not 100 percent sure all right so i did decorate uh the cover of this just because the whole thing is green i don't mind this color i do have an orange one and then i also have a blue one the orange one again won't be shown in this video but i am using the blue one is held in reserve these exceed notebooks are actually quite inexpensive at Walmart. I think for this it was like $10. It is a dot grid. It does have quite the yellow paper, but again, for the purposes that I wanted it for, it's fine. It does come with a back envelope and one of these markers. I never use these, so it, it doesn't matter to me. But the way that I'm using this is a, as a travel uh, journal. I did start this at the end of 2020. I did some collage here and because I don't enjoy travel, how it ties into the uh, comfy cozy is I do like learning about new places and that does make me feel like I'm part of something but still in a, in a safe space which is comfy and cozy to me and so I started with this opening quote from Carl Sagan which says imagination will often carry us to worlds that never were but without it we go nowhere and that really fits into the theme of this is because I don't know that I ever will want to go to any of these places and I can actually go to places that don't actually exist. And I'll talk about that once we talk about the spread that I did for today's video. Again, more collaging. So the first place that I visited, <laughs> air quotes there, is Venice. I do love to draw. I do love to doodle. Um, I was using some of my materials. Again, at that time, I already had some Prismas. And so, um, as you can see, I do like using my various mediums in various things. And then I like finding quotes or information about the place. And for some of them, I will be doing a four-page spread. So here's two pages about the place. And then I think where people can really travel to other places is through food. And so I found recipes that were um, indicative of that culture, at least based on my online research. And then I just wrote down the, the recipe and then just took screenshots um, and put that in here. I would like to eventually get one of those little pocket printers. I forget the name of it. I think HP has and yeah, but I do very little printing because I do like to draw that it, it really isn't necessary. The next place I visited was Seoul in Korea. Of course, Venice is in Italy. And again, it's not all the same kind of information. I just look for interesting things about the place. This had a lot of fun quotes and fun facts. This, I did a K-pop playlist, uh, found some interesting facts about the place. None of these um, little things actually tie in like I drew that and I drew that but then these were just things from my uh, junk journal stash but just like the other two or the the one for Venice I did a uh, fine two recipes that I wrote down um, I'm actually more likely to try these two recipes than I am to try the one from Venice just because I really enjoy Korean food and a lot of this stuff is accessible to me 
Now this one right here was an outlier. I did do this in the beginning of the year. I did find some interesting facts about the Capitol building in Washington, D.C. And specifically because of the reason why I did this, I do have my notes and my thoughts and just all of the emotions that were happening um, here so that it's private to me. But I, I know exactly why that's here. And this one, um, it is an outlier because there is no recipes. But I, I did want to come commemorate the day in a way that felt um, positive and secure to me. So the one that I did for this video was Hogwarts. Now I know you can visit Hogwarts and Universal Studios, but um, I am more than likely never going to go. And so I will visit through my journal. And um, this one is specifically um, commemorative to me because a lot of these die cuts are actually from my friend Poet. So I drew this here, I drew this right here, and then all of these little things are from Poet Spice. Uh, I did some research on the history of Hogwarts, the founders and the values of each of the houses, and then I also found some recipes uh, for butterbeer as well as the um, birthday cake for Harry for his birthday in that very first movie. And again, um, if you look closely, the die cuts don't necessarily fit in with the theme, but I think it looks good. And I did have a lot of fun with these two. Definitely need to put that down more. I think this is sticking on this somehow. Now, the reason I don't do these kind of things on camera, although I could, I might decide to do one in the future, is this probably took me between this page and this page with the drawing and whatnot, um, probably about four or five hours. Now, I did take my time. I did enjoy it. I was watching things as I was doing research and whatnot, but it's, it's just a very time-consuming process, but I find the process very relaxing. I think the next uh, place I want to visit is uh, Stardew Valley. I have coffee here because you can grow coffee in Stardew Valley. I think uh, the place after that I'd like to visit is Animal Crossing. Again, neither of these places are real. And so I can uh, visit them in my journal, do some research, do some doodling, some drawing, and some collaging. And it just makes me happy. And then my friend Andy has been playing Cozy Grove. And I think that would be interesting as another place. And then I can flip between real places, fictional places, Places and just go through my entire journal as I want to. Uh, this entire collab for this month has really helped me get back into my creative journals just because I've been thinking about it, but because it is so time consuming, more often than not, I just uh, pull a coloring book off my shelf and do that in order to relax and refresh and feel comfy and cozy. But it's been really um, good for me to come in here and just one, flip through the things that I've done, but also remind me why I enjoy doing this so much, just because it's so creative and it's fun and it gets lets me find out about new places that more than likely I will never go. And that's by choice. I, I'm sure I could travel sometime in life. I just, I don't enjoy any aspect of it. Anyway, that is it for this video. Definitely go and check the other ladies in the hop below. Next week will be the final week of this collab and it's going to be really special because I'll be also doing a giveaway. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys. Well, that's it for me for now. And as always, aloha.